we're gonna solder this component on this PCB using the tack and drag method. So get your tweezers and something to stabilize the PCB on. This one is my favorite. And for this method, I'm gonna be using 0.3 millimeter lead-free solder. So first you align the component with the PCB marking. Then we're gonna add some flux to one of the feet, just a little bit, and then heat up the pad with the soldering iron and a little bit of tin. Not too much because it's only serving the purpose of gluing the component to the PCB first. So now align the component to the solder pad and very gently come with the soldering iron closer to the foot while touching the pad. This ensures that the component will stick to the board. Now we're gonna go the complete opposite, like in a diagonal, and solder that foot. Same thing as before, put a little flux, a little bit of tin, and very gently because you can see how fragile that soldering on the other side is. Don't be afraid to use your fingers to align the component back, just make sure you don't burn yourself. Now I'm gonna be applying a generous amount of flux paste on every foot. And when I'm coming with the soldering iron, I'm basically dragging the iron over the feet while slowly feeding it soldering tin. I'm touching both the pad and the foot. And because the PCB at this point is pretty cold, I'm taking my time so the feet don't bend and nothing is being pulled and everything is smooth and even at the end. Now it's time for washi 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 and you will have something looking like this at the end. It's cool, it's fast, I like it. Tell me what you think. I hope you enjoyed this soldering tip and I hope you follow for more electronic chaos. Okay, bye!